the power struggle between the brothers William and Harry is evident. The latest information coming from the British and international press indicates a sort of competition between the eldest and the spare, as he referred to himself in his own biography, for the throne of England. To what extent is this true? Let's analyze all this a bit. Throughout this week, we've gathered information such as the reappearance of Prince William, not only on social media, but also attending a football match with his son. There are also rumors that Rose Hampton's son was at the same football match. However, there is no photo or image to prove it. In any case, we have seen this reappearance of William, seemingly trying to present a different image, while it has been leaked that he will now be working a lot from home. It's somewhat surprising, because it's not usual within the royalty. On the other hand, we have Harry and Meghan who attended a polo event, shared a movie-like kiss, and were accompanied by friends like Nacho Figueres and Serena Williams. The American press has lavished praise on them, while the British press, as expected, has continued with the Harry bashing. In this regard, they've dealt blows to these types of British tabloids as one of Murdoch's chains, the Murdoch Group, has closed down. Furthermore, there's talk that another lawsuit has been filed against Sam's newspaper. Therefore, it's impossible to see any positive information about Prince Harry or Meghan Markle in the UK. But let's analyze this a bit and, of course, the role of Kate Middleton's father, Camilla and Meghan. According to a source, in the midst of a challenging period for the royal family, with Charles and Kate off-duty, a bright spark could emerge in the coming weeks. Prince Harry will return to the UK for a service commemorating the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games at St. Paul's Cathedral. It will be the first time he visits his home country since his brief trip to see his father in February. Harry returned after the news of his father's cancer was announced, and given the nature of that last-minute trip, it was reported that the King was only able to have a brief meeting before heading to Sandringham to rest. A royal expert has claimed that considering the health issues facing the royal family members when Harry returns, there is likely to be finally a meeting with his older brother, Prince William. The expert, the former royal butler Charoff, also pointed out that in his opinion, King Charles probably hopes to play the role of peacemaker between his two sons, who have had a tense relationship for a long time. It's very likely that Harry and William will meet next month and everything is possible, as this gentleman said on Sky News Australia. He added that the king will want the brothers to fix things, so it's more likely that he could return or have some kind of role in the future. Beyond the obvious, this comes from a British source, so I want you to grasp the concepts a bit for what I'm going to explain later. Charoff explained that family is of utmost importance to the king, a value inherited from his late mother, Queen Elizabeth. One of his main priorities will be to resolve this family rupture. In Harry's 2023 memoirs, he described the last meeting between William and Charles in 2021, after Prince Fedup's funeral just weeks after the explosive interview with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan with Opera Winfrey, during which Meghan admitted to serious mental health issues during her time as royalty. She even suffered suicidal thoughts, and Harry said his brother and father were trapped within the monarchy, as Harry described it. Tensions quickly escalated in the meeting with his father and brother after they had laid fed up to rest, and Charles begged his sons to get along, saying, please boys, don't make a misery out of my reign. This caught my attention because it's a bit of a plea from the father, but the father also made the years following Lady G's death miserable as well. He's asking for protection from the media. Please, dad and dad speaking to the media, the ones who criticize their children and spread fake news. Don't worry, that's how it is. With this panorama, you can imagine how all this unfolds. An element we've never talked about here is Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, who is William and Harry's cousin, Sarah Ferguson and Andrew's daughter, and they say she has positioned herself between the two brothers because apparently she doesn't have a good relationship with Kate Middleton. 
It said that Beatrice was not initially invited to a charity event organized by Kate, and when she was invited almost as an afterthought, she wasn't informed of the dress code and arrived in a normal dress at a charity event where the dress code, they say, was to wear neon clothing, I imagine vibrant colored clothes. Another report claims that Kate's sister, Kate Middleton, also had problems with the two sisters, Beatrice and Eugenie, at a fashion show where she asked them to move to give her their front row seats. Rumor has it that Middleton invited Beatrice to that charity event, knowing she would feel out of place. It's surprising. This aspect of Kate Middleton hasn't been commonly visible in public, but it could explain why the sisters sided with Harry at this moment. In fact, in his biography, he refers to his cousins and Sarah Ferguson, who, well, is separated from Andrew, but they have a good relationship, a peculiar relationship, as he also leaves them, leaves them very well. And, in fact, there's a point where they talk about a Halloween party, where, well, it seems that Harry is more confident, more complicit with these two sisters, or still part of the royalty. But it seems that William, in this regard, well, wouldn't get along with them very well, or with the second sister-in-law, Kate Middleton. The feeling I get with all this, with all these news that comes out, well, I've mentioned the event where Harry and Meghan attended, but it was also announced this same week, the second season of their docuseries on Netflix, where they will also do a polo program, a sport initially minor, but I believe they will popularize it on Netflix. Why? Why? Because people will watch it, so they may become interested in how that sport works, which here, at least in Spain, is not a mainstream sport, and then also for a cooking program that caught my attention, but well, as Megan is now with the company she opened, which is a bit about home stuff and such, it may go that way. It's interesting the number of famous people supporting Harry and Meghan in the United States, in contrast to the reports coming out in the UK mentioning, for example, Donald Trump, which is news we've been dragging for weeks now, but British media keeps trying to bring it up right Donald Trump's words implying he would kick Harry out of the U.S. if he becomes president. What an electoral promise, I tell you, but, well, I think we are clear now that it's being seen as a kind of competition for public image. This is also fueled by rumors that Charles doesn't want William as king, and the other wants to be king, but also innovative. No, I mean, and supposedly the monarchy is traditionalist, so well, that may explain those steps he has taken.